and welcome back to Platypie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. This is Cookie Cement Mixer Cutter, and welcome back to Colonial Plaza. Back to your regularly scheduled Sunday night matchup. We hope you enjoyed uh, Halloween last week. It was a night off, and hope you hopefully you had a good one. And we got uh, Hudson Moyer on the bump here. For your 16 and 7 Platypi facing off against the 15 and 8 Overdogs, a uh, first place matchup in this one. So hopefully a good game. Hudson Moyer once again on the bump features a four seamer, two seamer, slider, curveball, and changeup, and he's a sidewinder. Ball one. A uh, an acquisition after the season started, and now. Grounder, McStevens dives, fires to first, got him for out number one. No easy feat against these overdogs. They are speed demons out there on the base paths. And uh, with that, Hudson Moyers, ERA 585, 165 whip, 8 Ks on the year. Had a bit of a rough first two starts, but really kicked it into gear after that. Strike one. Uh, defensive alignment got Tabule behind the uh, behind the dish today. Is that ground or uh, low line foul? And a sneeze from Moyer here, and then here comes the payoff pitch. Ball two. Tabule behind the plate. Once again, he uh, he is out there because well, quite frankly, coming from the manager, so that's grounded. Oh, and BK couldn't make the grab there. Cartman will pick it up on the bare hand, but no play at first. And we have a runner on first now for Aria Medina. But what I was saying was Tabule out there, quite frankly, says the manager, for the Platypi because he has the best arm of the uh, of the catchers uh, for these Platypi. And that's the same reason why Linda Hand's actually playing center field today. She has the best arm. She has a better arm over Willie Bacon. Now that's grounded to Kaufman. She'll have one play. It's the first, so that'll work like a sacrifice. And there's out number two for Ronda Horn stepping in now. But the rest of the defensive alignment, Beefcake at third, you already seen him, and Cartman at shortstop. At second base is Kitty Kaufman, who we just saw. Sandbrick at first. In right field is Hera O'Wugliam. Center field, Linda Hand. And in uh, right, or sorry, in left field, we have Muffin Studwick. So once again, left to right, uh, Muffin Studwick, Linda Hand, Hera O'Wugliams. Out there in the outfield. The 1 2 now to Rhonda Horn. That's grounded. Coffin will uh, have a kick off his glove. Runners going home, and they, his, she'll be safe, or he'll be safe. I wasn't. They'll be safe. I'm not quite sure who it was going home, but that's 1 0 now in a tough break. Scored on essentially an infield hit there. My word. And now here's Sak, Sakta Song, the first baseman. The two one pitch now. Three and one. Outside ball four. So not a great start here for Hudson. Now runners at first and second. Already at twenty one now. Twenty two pitches. And that's a ball to Samuel Perez, the catcher for the Overdogs. And now that's hit down the line. Sandbrick will make the diving grab. Throw to first in time to the covering Hudson Moyer. So some great defense will get them out of it here in the top of the first inning. But through the top half of the first, Overdogs 1, Potapai coming up. Katie Kaufman up now. Got to get her on base, and they will. Well, she'll get on base. Base hit. Now here's Hera O'Wugliams. Pitching for... The Overdogs today, Carrie Wayward. She features a cutter, a slider, a curveball, and a change. Has a 270 ERA with now a 146 whip and 15 strikeouts. And now Hera will pop this one straight up. Under it is uh, Perez, and he will make the grab for out number one. Here is Beefcake McStevens now. Ball one outside. 1-0 is a strike. 1-1. One and, one. and now they have Kitty picked off. To action who will uh, tag her out. And that's not what you want to see. And now there's a base hit dumped over the head of the second baseman. For a two-out knock. 
for Beefcake McStevens. And now Muffin Studwick will step in. With two outs here and a pickoff attempt to first. Nothing doing for Beefcake. Another one. Nothing doing. Lots of boos here from the Platypie fans. The 0-1. Now 1-1. One one, way inside. Nearly uh, knocked Muffin down. And now another pickoff attempt. Nothing doing. Overdogs know they don't have the best of arms behind the dish today. And oh, this place is erupting with some boos. Another pickoff attempt. Three in a row. And now Beefcake is going. The throw is going to be late. The pitch was a strike. And now runner on second for Muffin with Beefcake. Beefcake's at second, sorry. And now a hanger. And that's up the middle base hit. We have a tie ball game, folks. Scooter, Sandbrick will step in. A huge at bat there from Muffin. And now another cement mixer that will split the alley and left. They're gonna send him home. And there's the relay is well late. Cut off by Song. So now Sandbrick with an RBI single. It's now 2-1. And Linda Hand tried to get in on the action there, but checked her swing. Ball one inside. She's getting the start today, like I said earlier. Mostly because of her, of course, a great bat as that's popped up. But mostly because she has the better arm in center over Willie Bacon. She'll pop one into center for Victorino to make the grab for out number two. And now here is Victorino. Or sorry, out number three. Here is Victorino after two runs scored. From the pot of pie, and now this is a grounder to Kaufman. Throw to first in time for out number one. <laughs> and Moyer's going to want to see a lot of ground balls to Kaufman today. With a very speedy team once again. And now that's into center field. Base hit. Linda will field it. Fire back into uh, the infield. And now there's a runner on first with one out for Kerry Cartman. And... The outfield is going to play shallow. The infield is going to shift to a bunt look. First pitch, low, ball one. The 1 0 popped up. And oh, can't be fielded. Throw's going to come into second for some reason. And I thought they had a double play easily there. But Tabule did not get out of the crouch fast enough. And now Elroy action. The leadoff hitter is going to get a chance with runners at first and second and just one out. And now one and one is the count. And one one grounded to Cartman. Double play chance. Six, four from Kaufman to Sandberg. Three, it's a double play to win the inning. So after the miscommunication or just poor play by the catcher, Tabule, uh, the pitcher Moyer will get picked up by his defense to end the inning and there's strike one to Cartman who started that double play and he's gonna crush one to center but it's the deepest part of the ballpark for a reason Victorino will make the grab for out number one here now is Chase Tabule who's gonna line one out the middle and oh no oh no the overdog pitcher's down it's gonna be an infield single let's for uh, Tabule let's see how Carrie is, and now she's going to have to come out of this ball game. Braun Thunderchump is going to come in to relieve her, a lefty. And right now, her condition is marked as a body contusion, which does not sound good, folks. Braun Thunderchump, a 193 ERA on the year, 102 whip, 11 Ks, features a four-seamer curve and a changeup. He's a southpaw coming into... Coming in early in this one, and he's going to have to try to chew up a lot of innings, but he's not going to be able to do it by quickly going 2-0 to his opposing pitcher. Now 2-1, showing bunt is Moyer. He'll get it down. Tabule will get to second, only place to first, and there's out number two. Or Kitty Kaufman here, who is one for one. And she's going to jump on the first pitch. Strike one. And now that's ripped. Deep in the center field, Victorino, though, has wheels for days and will make the grab for out number three. A great jump by Victorino out there in center. And now here is the top of the third inning. Guy Gold will lead off. He's the left fielder. 
batting second. And there's strike one. One and one. And now one and two. And they're going to climb the ladder. And he's going to pop it weakly to Wugliams, who will make the grab easily for out number one. Here's Araya Medina. And now a great grab by Sandbrick diving to his left for out number two. What a play there to rob extra bases. Ronda Horn's going to step in now with nobody on and two outs thanks to Sandbrick. Some good defense behind him. Has Moyer and deep but foul. Had plenty on that one did Ronda but... Just couldn't straighten it out there. And fooled on a good curveball. For strike three. Back footer. And now the overdogs will go down one, two, three. And here comes Hera O'Wugliams. And she's going to line one. She's going to split the gap over the shortstop's glove. And she's going to slide into second base with a leadoff double. Which will bring up Beefcake McStevens, who already has a single in this one. Hera, not the fastest runner over there at second base, but so uh, or but let's uh let's see if Beefcake can um just get this one into a gap or something, so we don't have to worry about that. Now three and one, ball four, and Beefcake won't get a chance. And Muffin will step in here now with runners at first and second. Nobody out. Strike two. Big curve on the outside corner. It's already 0-2 now. And he's going to hang this one. And then Hera is going to be waved home. And cut off his song. And now the run will score, but Muffin is caught in a rundown. And... Beefcake was trying to score on that one, but Muffin will be thrown out, but not before a run does come in to score. And here's Scooter Sandbrick. And ball one outside from Thunderchump. Ball two outside. The 2 0 pitch. Strike one. And now Bunting, and it's a safety squeeze. Beefcake scores. It's 4 to 1. Pot of pie. Out at first is Sandbrick, but a perfectly executed safety squeeze there. Now ball one to Linda Hand, and she's going to pop it up. Just missed it again. She is right on that curve, but keeps on just getting under it. But still two runs for the Platypie, despite a base running blunder. And that, they now lead it 4-1 to one for Hudson Moyer, who... Seems to be settling settling in nicely. A 1-2-3 inning in his last, in the uh, top of the third. Now that's hit hard to Kaufman, and she will make the shoestring grab for out number one. Great catch there. And now Samuel Perez will take a look at strike one in the inside corner. Now ball one. Ball two just high. Though a 2 1. Now it's hit down the line. Foul. Setting up outside is Tabule and fooled him. Strike three, a whiff job. On a good slider. Now here's Yvette Victorino. She'll take strike one. And now that's up the middle base hit. So some uh, two out uh, action here for the Overdogs. And. Hope that Moyer can squash it here. You like his chances. It As long as he doesn't give up anything big to Ka uh, Kasha. Because you have the pitcher on deck. And now Cartman will field this one. Fire to second. And there's out number three. So despite the two out hit. Still a scoreless inning for Moyer. And we're headed to the bottom half of the fourth inning. Still 4-1 to one pot of pie. Cartman first pitch hacking. It's going to pop this one. In the center field, Victorino will make the grab for out number one. Tabule steps in. And up the middle, base hit for Tabule. And pardon the ear scratch there from your announcer. Here comes Hudson Moyer. He bunted his last time up. We'll see if he does that again. 
That's ball one outside. And runner is actually going. Moyer's going to pull back. The throw is late. Oh, my word. Chase Tabule has a stolen base. And Hudson Moyer's going to swing away. And he's going to line one. It's out number two. Tabule just gets back. A, but a, I'm still marveling at that stolen base by Tabule. The catcher, not really any wheels and somehow makes the play. He looked dead to rights, but that throw was just so slow. Now that's at the middle base hit. They're going to wave him home. The play at the plate is very late. Can't get cut off, and Kitty's going to take advantage of that and make it into second base. Great base running there. And now Harold Wugliams will have a chance to get her in with two outs here. As a run scores, and now that's going to get through. Kitty's going to be waved. She's going to score without a play. It's six to one, pot of pie. As Beefcake McSteven steps in here, and he'll take strike one. And that's a big hook, but inside, ball one. Another big one. Same, same pitch there. Ball three to BK. They really don't do not want to pitch to him. That was the same case in the last uh, last game. Now there's a strike. Runner will be going, and that is crushed. R absolutely ripped. A run. He's gonna score all the way to the wall. Did that one go? A double for Beefcake. He was sitting on that big curve and now here comes Muffin who's two for two with two RBI singles and a chance to make it three for three with three RBIs here with uh bake or sorry with beefcake at second and he's gonna do that that's gonna split the alley and right Muffin's gonna glide into second base with a two out double and you think that we were playing bowling today as another alley split by the platypi here, and we're going to have some changes. Uh, Anton Goodwin is going to come in to catch the double switch. And pitching now is Doug Nerdward, who has a 133 ERA on the year and a .84 whip, 18 Ks. He features a four-seamer, a two-seamer, a slider, a curve, and a changeup. And now that's going to be clubbed into right field, but this one will be caught by Medina. It's now 8-1 to one after a four-run inning by the Platypie, and we'll see how the older overdogs respond. And it, yes, it is the number nine spot in the order, but Anton Goodwin just came in on that double switch, so he will bat in the, pitcher, in the uh, former pitcher spot. And now that's up the middle. Cartman will field it, but not enough time to get it over to first. It's an infield hit for the overdog catcher and now Elroy action will step in here strike one the 0 one strike two the 0 and two just off the inside corner my word there the one two foul back the one two pitch ball in the dirt the two two now that's a weak little hit to right field and a great sliding play by the Wugliams and right. Man, oh man, has her defense been a shining point for the Platypie. With the cannon and now showing off some range there. And now another one to her, but this one's going to be a little easier to grab. She will get it fire back to first, but well late. Two outs now for... Medina and she'll take strike one and Moyer is just attacking going right after these overdog hitters which is exactly what you want when you're up seven but it has fallen 2-1 here 3-1 now comes a 3-1 and that's a strike 3-2 and two. the 3-2 pitch the runner going and Kerry Cartman will field it on the ground and fire and get his runner there and with a plenty of time for out number three. So despite the the uh, leadoff infield hit that inning, nothing doing for them. Now here's Linda Hand. And she's going to hit one deep and just miss it again. She keeps on just missing pitches there. And now here's Carrie Cartman who's going to rip this one into left field. Base hit. 
Throw will come into second. We're in the fifth. 8-1. Eight, 8-1 one, eight, one, uh, Platypi with some more action brewing. Strike one. To Chase Tabule, the catcher. For the Platypi. And ball too high. He's in there to try to gun down some speedy overdog base runners, but so far hasn't really needed to as now he's going to get in on the party. That's hit, but oh, never mind. Victorino will make the grab. Great play. Once again, wheels to burn out there in center field. And Hudson Moyer will hit here now with two outs, runner on first. First pitch swinging. That's out the middle. Fielded by Emin. Only plays the first and just will make the play at first base so nothing doing for the platypi in the bottom of the fifth we're heading to the sixth and Rhonda Horn is up and she will get a base hit just past the outstretched glove of Cartman and now Song the first baseman will come in to hit and double play ball six four three it's a double play for the platypi and that's just an absolute heart-wrenching killer for the overdogs. They keep on getting something going and then immediately getting it stopped. And now another one to Cartman. He'll field to his left, fire over to first, and there's out number three. So nothing doing for the overdogs. Once again, another donut up there on the scoreboard. And here's Kitty Kaufman looking to get something going here in the bottom of the sixth. And now that's a little liner. Victorino says she's got it, and she does for out number one. Now the pitch to a Wugliams outside, ball one. Now that's ripped into right, but right at Medina for out number two. That'll set it up for Beefcake McStevens, and he's going to hit this one high and deep. That might have a chance, and it is high off the wall. It's a two-out double for Beefcake. Muffin Studwick will now get a chance here, and he's going to rip one into center, but it is caught by Victorino for out number three. So we're headed to the seventh. A two-out double for the Potipi there in the... Uh, Bottom of the six, but nothing else doing. And now to Victorino, ball one, who has been incredible on the defensive side of things. Two and two now to her. Ripped foul. The two, two. Strike three, swung over the breaking ball below the zone. Now one out with Emin coming in. Once again, just that. Moyer's just attacking these hitters. Unfortunately, every time I say that, immediately falls in the count. <laughs> and now that's ripped into right. A Wugliams will cut it off, though, to save extra bases and fire back in to Cartman. Now bring up Anton Goodwood, who, in his only at bat so far, had an infield single. Three and zero now. Back to back hitters where he's gone three and zero. Maybe losing a little gas at eighty six pitches now, or maybe not. Fires back three and two. The three two. Oh, that's hit high and deep, and he'll have to try to climb a ladder, or I should say, they'll have to try to climb a ladder if they want to try to get that one. Linda Hand and Muffin Stud will just stare at it. And that is a no doubter, 442 feet for Goodwood. Now eight to three ball game, and that's what you worry about. They're not quite out of this one yet. Overdogs can still come back, strike two, but you still prefer that, you know, to to walks. As now that's grounded to Beefcake, he'll fire to second, and there's out number two. From the Overdogs' perspective, you almost wish he hadn't homered, and they just kept the line moving because now you got no one on. Quickly a ground out there. Now you got two outs. Now the 0-2 count. Checked his swing there. Did Guy Gold. The 2-2 popped up. Just barely into the outfield grass. Kitty Kaufman under it. And she will make the grab for out number three. 
Two runs will come to score on that huge no-doubter in the top half of the seventh inning but uh, by Anton Goodwood, but still a five-run lead as Scooter Sandberg will step in, and now he's going to split the alley in right field. It's going to roll all the way to the wall, and we have another double for the Potipi. They are just playing pepper with that with those alleys. As now Linda Hand will come in here against Doug, and she'll take ball one, the first pitch she's taken all day, I believe. And now she's going to rip one in the center, and that'll get her going. She'll join on the hit parade, and initially they sent Sandbrick, but that was just hit too hard. And Victorino just has too good of an arm out there to send him. So now runners at first and third, and Kerry Cartman is going to hit the ball up the middle. Elroy will field it, and it's going to be a double play. A run will score, but no RBI for Cartman. Rocket Ramon will come in to pitch now. 450 ERA with a 156 whip and 15 strikeouts. He features a four-seamer, a slider, and a changeup. And Chase Tabule will come in with two outs and nobody on. The big thing there, though, is that you take away one of those runs that they got in the top half. As that's ball two outside. Now that's going to be caught out number three. And we will see a new pitcher. Or no, we won't actually. Hudson Moyer is going to stay out there at 98 pitches. And there's strike one. And that's a big shot. And that's a no doubter. Off the stairs. In right center field. That was no wall scraper. Another no doubt homer. Medina's fifth of the year. 438. 438 feet off the bat, and now they'll go to the pen. And it's going to be Hugh Jacobs against Ronda Horn, and he'll fire in strike one. Ball one inside. Ball two inside. And that's going to get through for a base hit. So now runner on first, and Song is up to bat. Strike one. Oh, one to Song. Ripped into left and just past the outstretched diving glove of Muffin Sudwick. Linda's going to fire it back in, but she'll fire it to third. The controller will disconnect because it's angry that it's now a four-run ball game. And will it ever reconnect? I'll never know. Always has the struggles. Does this controller? I still don't know why to this day. But I mean, hey, this thing struggles more than uh, more than Hudson Moyer in the uh, seventh inning. My goodness. Um, we'll have to take a brief technical difficulties break. And now back in. Thank you for your patience on the technical difficulties, and Dick Berger will come in to pinch hit now. Uh, no hits so far in the year, but does have an RBI. And there's strike one from Hugh Jacobs, looking to recalibrate here. Now just a four-run lead, and oh, off the glove of Sandbrick. Fires to first, and they'll still get him. For out number one, pardon the ear scratch. Now Yvette Victorino will step in to hit. And there's ball one outside. Really what you needed there. If that if they couldn't get the out on that one, you feel really defeated. Fortunately they were able to Sandberg was able to keep with it. And now that's hit, and Sandberg will make the grab on the fly for out number two. And Keisha Emin or Kasha, I my apologies. Do not have a pronunciation sheet here. It will ground to Kaufman, and there's out number three. And now David Diggler is going to come in to pitch after two runs in the top half of the inning for the uh, overdogs. And Hugh Jacobs is not going to um, is not going to hit. It will be Sky Rodriguez against David Diggler, and she'll take ball one outside. A 4.98 ERA for Diggler, 138 WHIP, 16 strikeouts. Features a four-seamer, two-seamer, and curve. And the pinch-hitting Sky Rodriguez has a 328 average with three homers and 14 RBIs on the year. 
up in the count 1 and 0 is Rodriguez now all evened up at 1 and 1 2 and 1 way to check your swing there and now 2 and 1 is going to be hit foul into the seats strike 2 2 and 2 outside 3 and 2 count full and oh she swung right through it there so now Kitty Kaufman will come in with one out and that's whacked foul pitch inside checked her swing did Kitty Kaufman it's now even one and one she'll take two and one three and one and now that's lined but caught by Song and Hera O. Williams will step in with two outs in the bottom of the eighth. And the Potipi are hoping this is their last time up to bat with a four run lead. Quickly 2 0 goes O. Williams. Now she's going to pop one deep into left field, but unfortunately, Gold will track it down to end the inning. So, but uh, Huckster will come in here. He's usually the closer. As that's a liner, and McStevens will make the grab for out number one. Usually the closer, not wanting to take any chances here, even with the four-run lead. Quickly 0-2 now to Elroy. Going up and in, and that's going to be a ball. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder to Sandbrick. He's going to field it barehanded and step on the back for out number two. Guy Gold is going to look at strike one there. 0 and 1. And now that's a liner into right. And O'Wugliams though will make the grab just in front of the wall. And it is curtains for the overdogs. Three up, three down. To end the ball game. A 9 to 5 victory for your Potipi. Final box score for the overdogs. Five runs on 11 hits, no errors. For your Platypi, nine runs on 16 hits and no errors. Hudson Moyer will get the win. He went seven inning, seven plus innings, scattered nine hits, gave up four earned runs, walked a batter, struck out three, and allowed two home runs. His record will improve to three and one. While uh, Carrie Wayward will unfortunately for her get the loss. Only went an inning and a third before she got hit by a comebacker and had to depart. Scattered five hits, two earned runs. Her record will fall to one and two. Your Metalhead Software players of the game are Beefcake McStevens, who went three for three, a couple of doubles, RBI, three runs scored, and a stolen base. Muffin Studwick, three for four, with a double, three RBIs and a run scored. And Scooter Sandbrick, who went two for three, with two doubles and two RBIs, with a run scored. Well, once again, this has been Plata Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. We hope you enjoyed this matchup between two first place ball clubs as uh, your Plata Pie reigned victorious, improving up to 17 and 7 on the season. Once again, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like down below if you did, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep on bringing you some more Plata Pie Baseball. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is Cookie, cookie Cutter signing out. Have an amazing day. See ya!